Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. So as a busy mom, my get ready with me have to be really quick. So let's just jump in. Starting off with the CeraVe moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. I use it not only for my face, but also my body. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Yeah? It's a show. Huh? It's a show with the house. Yeah, later. Yeah? No, oh yeah, no. we could do it later, yeah. I told you I'm a busy mom. <laughs> if you guys hear any noise in the background, that's my son, but you know, hopefully this isn't um, crazy for anyone. But anyway, just finished with my moisturizer leftover. I always use it for my hands because my hands get really dry during the winter time. Actually, my whole body gets Mommy, really dry. Mommy. Yeah? I just I had dry food. Okay. Like my hair's gotta go up because it's literally crazy. I cannot do anything without my hair up, so. Okay, so starting off with my eyebrows, I'm going in with a CoverGirl, uh, what is it? CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in number 705, Rich Not Brown. Yes. Mommy. This is my drugstore um, brow pencil that I like to use. And honestly, I think I'm just going to stick with it until my original brow pencil goes on sale. The one I usually use is the Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Wiz because I really like the dark color they have in it. Um, the only time I get it though is when it's 50% off in March when they have like that spring thing that they do. But I missed this year so I could not stock up. Stock up. I usually get like a few. <laughs> Uh, just so I don't have to buy again and this is pretty much the same price. It's about ten eleven dollars So after the 50% off the Wiz the Anastasia Wiz brow is the same price. So That's a really good brow pencil as well, but this one's not too bad. I really like the color of it too Like I said, <laughs> that's my son and he's actually <laughs> right there So I told y'all I was a busy mom all right, I'm just going to do my brows. The My least favorite stuff to do is my eyebrows, so I literally just go very basic with them. I don't do any kind of shape or anything. Well, I do like a soft arch, and that's pretty much it, but... Good night, Mommy. Good night. I'm just going to fill these in really quickly and then brush them out. Now going in with my foundation, I use two of the Bare Minerals and the Maybelline and or the L'Oreal Infallible and I mix them together because this one's a little too light and this one's like a little too um, red. But um, I mix them together and I feel like it gives me the perfect, perfect color which is great. So I don't use too much foundation, I just put it on the spots I need it the most which is I always start off at the center of my face and then around my mouth. Sorry, I'm working so fast though. I literally was trying to fix my camera for the last like 30 minutes after I did my brows. <laughs> Cause I did not have storage on my memory card. So there's that. But yeah, I'm just going to go in. I am breaking out a little bit as well. So I'm gonna cover those up. But once I get like a nice uh, base, then um, the foundation will be done but anyways how are you guys doing what is everyone up to um i want to know everyone's like goals and stuff for 2024 i always like listening to people's stuff or reading about them um i'm all about being hella positive in 2024 i mean in general i'm a pretty positive person and i could pretty much take myself out of a funk um but I'm always curious as to what everyone else is up to and what their manifestation is. So foundation is pretty much done. I just want to make sure I blend everything out nicely. So I put the most of the center and then whatever that's left over, I just blend out and downwards. And then I don't ever put foundation on my forehead. I just, I don't know, this has never been like a thing for me. So I don't do that. The crevices on my nose, I'm focusing on with the foundation because for some reason it always just like, I always miss uh, blending things out there so wherever I have a pimple I'm just taking the leftover concealer and I'm just gonna blot it and just gently press out the sides I remember when I was younger um, I would put concealer on my blemishes and that just never really helped it <laughs> at all but I remember back then that was like the thing like they're like oh put concealer on and you'll be fine but no Never worked out so 
When it comes to concealer, um, I'm actually going to take a little bit of my light foundation and put it on top of pretty much whatever I have left over, which isn't a lot, and just blend it until it looks obviously somewhat blended. And then I just go in with my lighter foundation, mix it with my um, base foundation. And that's how I do my concealer. I used to use the It Cosmetics, and I still have like a bunch of it left because it lasts forever, which is amazing. But I just find that using the It Cosmetics, or I think honestly any kind of concealer, concealer that I've used in the past, just makes my under eyes a lot, um, a lot creasier and a lot more dry. So, but I've been doing this foundation as concealer for the longest time and it gives me like the perfect finish even with powder put on it okay and then when it comes to blending i don't have to be too like you know precise on it because it blends in nicely with my base foundation which is great but i just want to make sure the creases are looking good okay and i think that's it Okay, I think that's it. And just blend the sides. And then whatever that's left, I just honestly clean <laughs> clean off my hand with a brush. Or with a sponge. And then going in with my, um, what is this? The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is like an OG for me and will always be a part of my routine. I just use this as like a highlighter of my nose. But this used to be my concealer, my go-to concealer. But now that I use my foundation, I just use it for highlighting. Um, going in with my Revlon Color Stay and Transparent. And I just put it underneath my eyes and on top of my lids because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to let the concealer on my nose sit for a little bit. I'm going in with my favorite, all-time favorite bronzer. Just the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I've used this bronzer, guys, like since it's come out. It's the most amazing bronzer ever, but I'm just going to use a little bit of it, put a little bit up on my forehead where there's no foundation, just so it kind of blends in all seamlessly. The reason why I don't put foundation on my forehead is because my forehead seems or tends to get a little tanner than the rest of my face, um, so that's why, but buffing out that concealer I put on my nose, whatever that's left on the brush, and then... Um, now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner, which is honestly my favorite part because it's crazy, guys, how much of a difference eyeliner makes, and I love it. A cat eyeliner especially, so going in with my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black. Oops. My hair. I've also got to do my hair, too. But I start at the ends, and then I just do, like, a little wing. I don't know if y'all could see that. I just connect it all. And then that's pretty much it. And then I'll just uh, go in with the top part. Okay, then I'll just fill the rest in just like that. That's pretty much it for the eyeliner. And the other side too, obviously. So my eyeliners are never the same. I try to make them as similar as possible, but you know, that doesn't always happen. But if it's close enough, that's all that matters. The same thing. You just wanna make sure you fill in everything. Okay, and I think that's pretty even for the most part. My eye is like running right now. Okay. Anyways, going in with my super old mascara or going in with my super old eyelash curler. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes just a little bit. To be honest with you guys, I normally don't do this part unless I'm like going to like a special event or something. But for the most part, I don't curl my lashes anymore just because uh, it, I just don't like the step. <laughs> Like, I definitely have one side that likes to curl better than the other. Alright, and then going in with my favorite 
mascara. It is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in waterproof and jet black. Obviously, I need a new one. It's like ridiculous looking. But I just do like a thin layer of mascara. And then that's pretty much it. But I really like the brush on this mascara because it doesn't clump up any lashes, which is really nice. But this is my favorite lash. There was one that they had that was like a green one that was like a caterpillar looking like um, applicator. And I thought I would like it, but I just didn't like it at all. And then I'm going to end with my e.l.f. Stay All Day Micro Setting Spray, which to be honest with you guys, I don't think setting spray does anything, but that's just my opinion. But because I have it, I'm just gonna use it. Um, I bought it last year for my best friend's wedding and I've had it ever since. All right, friends, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick, realistic, get ready with me with minimal editing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.